All right, we uh, wrapped a little early last week in order to have a smooth start this week, and we're just going to keep playing until we finish it today. Uh, last episode, we finished year two. I now know that this game is broken up and into at least three years, probably four. And you get to the end of the chapter, and you suddenly jump to uh, the next year later. So it always takes place in the day of the end, which is very cool. Hey, thank you, Johan. Appreciate that. He's still dealing with uh, Goop on Twitch right now. You're super awesome. Thanks. Appreciate that. And it's your bonus sub block hour, too. I'll hook you up. Henson. Oh god, that's not good. Vincent Arnold was just a kid. Everyone on my ship has been sprouted. I'm sorry, I led you into trouble, sailor. Oh no. It's a bummer. The hell of a start. I love how successful this Minnie is, though. Happening. Hey, he's back here. Sack him. Custom officials, open this door! Thanks, Gladys. Looking out. Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Man, that's an intense start. Man, he's been on this boat for a year and has already changed it this much. Press left, right. Okay, that did seem to move us a little bit. I don't know to what end yet. Looks like we have two anchors. Okay, let's see what else I can interact with in this room before I get too crazy with this thing. I see. Can't reach. So that raised one of the anchors, and can I do something on the opposite side? Okay, so both anchors are up. So what does that mean? Let's play around with this some more. I need to get close to the dock, right? I assume. Maybe not. Let's pull back. I don't think I can move at all without the anchors down, so I think I need to put at least... Wait, wait, wait. Something's happening this time. So left moved me closer to the dock. Okay. I don't know anything about boats. This might take me a minute to figure out. <laughs> I think the best way to use this engine would be the controls over there, as opposed to the hands-on method. Gladys, do something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't all panic at once. We'll have to go in shifts. Uh, let me try putting down one anchor and see what happens. This might be not be related to how boats really work. Doesn't involve the use of dual anchors to move. Okay, so it seems like pushing left and right pushes me in opposite directions from what I would expect. I don't know if having the anchor out is doing anything for me here. I'll just continue the tradition of opening every episode of Grim Fandango with the puzzle that I'm super stuck on. <laughs> Although the, the Phantom Woods puzzle had way more things I was able to interact with. I only have up, down, left, right, and two anchors here, so even through the force of uh, just brute forcing, we should we should win eventually. There's no way what those propellers are doing would move a ship laterally. Oh, they use anchors to move? So like a ship will be moving forward, it'll drop an anchor on one side and it will kind of force it to turn automatically. Can't reach. 
I don't think I meant to do anything with the anchor itself, right? Let me check my inventory real quick. Okay, just have the scythe, which is a great multi-purpose adventure game tool. Looks like I can, in fact, reach it with the scythe. I don't know to what end. Okay, so it seems like he can't get to it right now for whatever reason. Let's see if I can set it down, maybe. It's like an emergency maneuver, I see. Just normally you'd use a rudder. So now I'm far from the anchor. I don't think moving forward or back matters right now. At the point where I just need to understand what exactly I'm doing here. Forward and back appears to do nothing, it's just left and right, so that gives me fewer things to screw up as I try to solve this here. Assuming it's even further away, and I definitely can't reach it with the. Uh, it would probably be easier to raise it with the motor. Raise it with the motor. Okay, I see. Let me try putting it down and then moving. I think it's gonna leave it behind, right? Maybe is what we're going for. Don't do that. And my thought is I'm going to drop it and then I'm going to move away. Maybe I need to stack them or something. Okay. That kind of makes sense. Drop the other one, and it should land on top of the first one. I don't know why that matters yet, but I'm going to try to figure it out. Can I, like, pull it back up? Is it going to tug the anchor up with it? It did. Okay. So that looks like that's progress. I'm not yet clear on why I'm doing this. Pure force of limited number of possible interactions, right? Okay. Well, there you go. What happens if I pull it in now, now that it's stuck? That, am I gonna like break my ship apart? Trying to like cover your ears. Murder these guys. Oh god. Yeah. What okay. Was that? The dotted line, buddy. Making an exit. Can't reach. Can I get back onto it with the uh, scythe? Hey Scald, how you doing? Good seeing you. If I mess with these anchors anymore, we might go down with the ship. <laughs> I don't want to mess up my blade. My scythe. This maybe now I have to do forward or back? Well, I'm still trying to figure out why. Oh, it looks like that was the solution. Oh, that makes sense. The dotted line, all right. <laughs> so I bisected the ship so I could escape from the enemies on it. I get it now. It's pretty funny. There goes his hat. 
I love how it's like you see a year jump and right at the beginning of the year it's like man Manny's really successful then as soon as you take control of him shit goes bad really fast Also, I need to switch to 480p. I forgot this game Manny, captures differently. Joking. One sec. Mira, snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. Beware, <laughs> brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning. Thanks, Gladys. Don't move from the pool of light. forward and learn for yourself. All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? You all right? I'm a spirit. <laughs> Not of the sea. Here comes one now. So, what's up? I'm a good guy. Who? Oh, geez, <laughs> another <laughs> shipwreck. You see, that's why I never travel by boat. I love the writing in this game. It's so good. What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured I'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. <laughs> Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. What happened in the end? What happened was I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, never ever go to sleep how have you kept that light going all these years well i found this coral this glow in the dark coral damnedest thing glows like a lightning bug and never seems to wear out i had some of that once made a nice grappling hook oh, i don't yeah. think you had what i got first year i don't think you've been to the place where i got it where'd you get the coral edge of the world boy that's the only place it grows We've had a little accident. Think you could help Edge us out? Edge of the world. I guess different for. cosmology in the land of the dead, right? Could we take a walk with you? with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it shine. Scare away sea monsters. Scare away sea monsters. Scare away sea monsters. Gladys has a better handle on this. I'm gonna let it shine. 
Son. Let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Look how long you end up walking with him. It's gotta, it gotta be less than a day, because I think this whole game always takes place during the Day of the Dead on different years, is my understanding of it so far. It's just a cool way to construct an adventure game into chapters with time skips. I'd we'll love to see more of that. It's a nice way to dump your inventory at preset points, too. Fantastic. I wonder how long he's been walking around. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like you was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Could you send for help? Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes mm. sailors so allured by so lured up. actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Bah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker, that's the moon! Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who, these guys? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oh, they don't miss with old Tap it past the fourth I'm wall. Too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This Can I do anything else with him? Mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Whoa. Hey, lay off. Let go. Let go. Let go. Get your own lamp, pal! Whatever happened to the code of the sea? Hmm. Okay, it must have something to do with grabbing him. I'm a spirit of the land, Manny, not of the sea. Hang in there, Mano. I'd definitely go over there first chance I get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. I'd definitely... You should walk all the way around Ruby to Dre again. All right. <laughs> deedly, 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 right? deedly. Not hanging. I think I still just have my scythe, right? My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. <laughs> it's just looping around. Keep the moon on my right. Way I make sure I'm walking in a straight line. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't realize there was a button to switch between original and remastered graphics. Well, the original game actually looked pretty good for '98, for a PC adventure game. I play around with that button more once we see cool art assets like we were doing in uh, the remastered Monkey Island. I'm Grab. fine. I just pa well, I okay. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, you see I'm let's gonna let it shine. After I grab this him. little light of mine, hey, lay off. Okay, I was able to move him over what to Gladys. What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? <laughs> to the moon? Raising him as a light. Wonderful. Benny, is that the pearl? <gasps> I knew I'd 
whiter someday. I'm rich, 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 rich. Shh, something's happening. Manny, what's going on? Oh, God. It's a cute, cartoony video game, know. but underwater shit like scares me like that. Looking at us. All right, it's okay. It's just a screen. I'm not, not really underwater. Right at me. We're fine. It's fine. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. We make an exit around the screen, right? Hey, I've got more important things on my mind than jewel theory. Not me! Ugh. Watch those hands, clams. There's no talking to octopuses. Mm. Ugh. Guy, we should abandon him. You can't leave me here all alone. Come back here. Oh no, poor guy. Team Grim Subnautica, exactly. She's coming back. Fantastic. Looks like we're heading south. Octopus lives in this big submarine. Except the edge. <laughs> oh wow. Literally is the edge of the world. That's cool. Is there a prison colony? Because I don't know. Focus, <laughs> Hey, thanks for the follow, Kyle. No, I can't. Any hint of that octopus swimming around here? No, but I can smell him. Guessing I can't exit Nothing down the way we came, right? That okay. direction. Figured I would check. Don't want to get pulled off this. I'm grabbing on here. Need a mop in a year. Yeah. Whoa, that's gnarly. Cool. This is the ship that, uh. That's as close to the edge as I want to be. The woman we're searching for was on. That's as close to the edge as I want to be. That's such a cool set piece. That's as close to the edge as I want to be. That's as. Okay, it looks like I can maybe do something on here eventually. Let me do a quick pixel hunt with the mouse. Just in case there's something that I need to interact with here. I think there's nothing down here. Try to do that on screens if I get stuck. It's really interesting that this wasn't a mouse-based game when it originally came out. It feels kind of revolutionary for adventure games. It's 
There's some cool camera angles in this game, too. I haven't really commented on it much. Wait, operate? Operate what? Some kind of crane, it looks like. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Set it down on the ground somewhere. It should have just left me, so maybe that's actually what I'm supposed to do. You nice to pull the anchor out from there, right? But I can't get it far enough down. Any bubble solution? Nice, Yahan. So is there like a better bubble solution than the kind of that you could just buy in stores? Magic wand toys? It's never been particularly good. Not much better than like hand soap I've found at least. I really like that this game like just kind of throws you into its settings. It doesn't take a bunch of time trying to explain why you're here. Like you'll figure it out. Those things are dangerous. I'd be ground to bits. If they don't need Glottis for whatever I'm doing back here. It's not a handheld device. I do I think Scythe is still all I have, right? I don't want to mess up my blade. Okay. Nothing to be done with it right now, presumably. So this screen appears to be empty, but I'll do a quick pixel hunt just in case. Yeah, I think it's just empty. Bigger bottles like the bubble artists use. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, I was wondering if there's like, if you can do like really uh, robust, large bubbles. Are you kidding me? Sorry, I'm Windows 10. I just updated it and it's wanting me to update again. Let's see if I can dismiss it. Wait your turn. It says something about needing to update to patch high definition audio controller, which makes me really nervous. Well, I guess I'm in this thing. I didn't realize that. That's how I moved to different sides of the island, I guess. Get out of here. There's no ladder. Okay. I can't get out of here. There's no ladder. Gotcha. So it explains why I exited on a different side that time. Gotcha. The Windows update. All right, so I don't know what's going on over Seems there. I don't think I can do anything over there yet. Swimming around here? No, but I can smell them. Didn't actually go into this building yet. I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. <laughs> Stupid octopus. <laughs> Hmm, this door's locked. Hmm. Okay, I can't walk past it. I don't think there was anything I'd interact with if I could. Hmm. 
Huh. Some kind of like light. Interesting. I don't know what that is. It's an ashtray, it looks like. Okay. It's empty. Oh, cutscene. Mechi. Hey, Daddy, at last. What are you doing here? I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were <clears> headed <throat> for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? <clears throat> if that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> I love his new outfit. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. No! No! Not Gladys! I'm gonna grind you to powder for that cow, don't? Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. I hope we rescue Gladys or he shows up at the... Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. That sounds like, um, I feel like I recognize that voice actor. Hola, Angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God. Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. <laughs> My name is Manny Calavera. What's yours? Mr. Harley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. Didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump and I really needed a fat commission, so. You're a bad man. Go away, bad man. Yeah, go away. Mech is my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? God, it... She's a voice actor. She plays, uh prepubescent boy characters in lots and lots of cartoons. I just can't place an example. It's not the voice of Qbert from Futurama. Listen, I don't children, think so. I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You oh, it's uh, Bobby we from King of the Hill. Pamela Adlin, right? She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes Thanks, we Connie. hear her crying, you know. Then why don't you help? I'm in the Maritime Union. I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those <laughs> words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. I am in the Maritime Union, though. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. On second thought, <laughs> maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? <laughs> we'll be all alone. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? Why am I so bad at this? You two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. Very bad. Nice. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our parents? Our parents? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Nice kid you have here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us and let them make nests out of our bones. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchet. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. Get that hammer they threw. I like my old desk better. I could make a tiny little birdhouse if I had some tiny little nails and wood. <laughs> No drawers. No drawers. Okay, I'll try to rescue them later. Oh, I think she's look, Pamela Adlin's in uh, I Know That Voice. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do Talking you just want some her work for as your Bobby, head. To Bobby Hill. I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. You have a lot of explaining to do. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, me? About what? Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> so why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that <laughs> guy take a punch. Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. <laughs> Come on, we're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? <sighs> I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? Can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? <laughs> I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. 
They didn't issue me a gun. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back? <laughs> uh, Sir, I'm do scared. you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. You got the little headset. I love it. Domino. Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Lissy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way... You killed my best friend. The demon? Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking Boom. of them as friends. It's Claudius just is the best. Natural. I think he's fine. We could have done it to make us hate uh, Domino more. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two bit light bulb factory. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. That's fair. Oof, is all I'll say. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried to put a sapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative. Just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double in tickets, mm, now can we? Okay. You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would root all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the pearl. Hmm. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod, which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest instead of coming here right away, but I fixed that. I'm taking Meche out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in a the petrified forest alone. Uh, because okay, of so that's where she was. Thanks. I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my uh, dungeon. <laughs> I don't blame her for struggling to solve the puzzles of the petrified forest. One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. But you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? What makes you think I'm going to work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it for me. And think about it. Once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns. I have all the transportation. And I have all the brains. What are you going to do? 
nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick <laughs> it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. It's cool if the coral is relevant. A random again. adventure game oh, item at the beginning of the game. Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well, I gotta go back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Nice. Can I do anything to him? Combat him with my scythe? Please put that away. Oh, there's his gun. Okay. Thank you. Please put that that <laughs> the little hammer. Okay, you can take out the tiny hammer if you want. <laughs> he seems completely unaware of how close I am to escape. No, I don't think I could take his laughter a second time. No, I don't think I could take his laughter a second time. It's great. Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I will. Right. Listen. Manny, talk. Sorry. <laughs> you try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Oh, how the stockings Sir, have so much have mass compared to her legs. Domino, my demands. I don't think you fully understand. Pugs, you. Well, I... Okay. She threw something in the trash can after that, I think. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um. The speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. It's locked. All right, so... You know, a little clear nail polish would fix these right up. I wouldn't really? ever wear these. Is that a solution? So I don't know very much about stocking repair. So we already know that I can run around the island. I don't know to what end. The areas I've already visited have... Nothing but dark waters that direction. Nothing I could use a stocking or a hammer with? I'll look around and see what I can find. I don't think I messed with the switch last time, right? Okay, I'm gonna make that thing go up or down. Climb up on it. It's tricky to not fall off the edge, though. Uh oh. See if there's anything new down at the boat after I've done stuff, I guess. Oh, thank God. Okay. Whew. I was really sad about Gladys. So I was like, there's no way they would do that, right? Gladys. Well, it hurt a little when I hit, but my head cracked open and after I line there an accident. I gotta tell you, Carnal. I thought you were dead. Oh, Manny, I've been having a great time. Listen. I ask you, is there an engine that can resist the love that's in these hands? Apparently not. Hmm. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh, yeah, good point. Okay. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea's good, too. <laughs> I think... Oh, I was... Cool. I feel like this game is pretty good at setting up uh, That's as close what your ultimate goal is in each of the chapters, right? Like there's lots of adventure gamey things you have to do in order That's to make that goal happen. I wanna be. 
but I'm pretty impressed that they're like, okay, this is your one singular focus to try to do everything you can in service of that. Year one is get a good client. Year two is get a boat out of here. This one is find a way to fix that boat down there and get out with Mitchie. I think there's really only two places I can place this thing though, right? The opposite sides of the island. Okay, so Glottis was outside on the other side of the island. Let's see if anything's out over here. I can try using my items. Either that or these are the biggest meanest looking hair colors I've ever seen. I don't really want to do that. The whole transitioning from being handed a mop to like owning the place is great. I don't want to mess up my blade. I love that this game is very much not the story of someone who is a Grim Reaper. Someone who had like a temporary job as a Grim Reaper, but yet you still keep the sight throughout the whole thing. And use it for all sorts of different puzzles. It's not a handheld device. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else out here now. Nothing has changed on this side of the island. Yeah, there's more I can do down at the bottom. I don't know how moving this thing left or right accomplishes right now. Maybe it'll matter once I start grinding up the coral or something. So I could try talking to the kids again and give them the uh oh. thing. Okay, good. I'm glad that the guy didn't die that I abandoned earlier. Because they showed me this area when we first landed, so I should have thought to check it. Man, if I had only gotten that boat back from Terry, I could really start some trouble here. Nice. Who? Oh, you is it? Why I oughta? You should have. You do oughta. You don't want to see that big octopus to see you chatting. Well, you really weren't standing in a very safe place. Well, neither are you right now, Ugo. Relax, we're busting out of here soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, hmm. it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get one then? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the big reef. Okay, that makes sense for an adventure game. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins, you people and your fancy folks never know about it because you just never stop and look. Hmm. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. <laughs> That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What should we need? A gun. <laughs> a hug. <laughs> Let's try that. Mm, nope. That's the one thing I ain't got for you. A drink. We're swimming in the biggest drink there is. Drinks aren't a hot commodity down here. Sorry. Towel. Hey, you funny guy. Chalk in. My 
friend Gladys to be alive. What? What happened? He went over the edge. Oh, stay away from the edge, I tell you. It's dangerous. I've seen whole ships go okay, over. Okay, let's my tell time. you to They're check for it. In full reverse, trying to drop anchor. But the current, you can't fight her. So stay back. What a pair of nice silk stockings. Ah, now there's a hot ticket item. I might be able to get you some, but I gotta tell you, you couldn't afford it. <laughs> boat. There you go again with the boats. You know I don't like them. Why do you have to needle me? <laughs> I'm done. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. What do you got on you? My turtleneck. My turtleneck. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Acrylic? No, it's all natural. Oh, too bad. Natural fibers are so uncomfortable underwater. I know, I know. <laughs> when you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. I'll show him. Why <laughs> it's a bust all achievement unlocked. Why I oughta... Freaking, freaking. Oh, I didn't realize this connected back here. I get down there without this current taking me over the edge. Oh, I see. So that's how I'm supposed to get down there by grabbing onto the side of the thing after hitting the switch. So maybe I can trade some of the stockings or a high ticket item and we can try that. Hey, Cheppy, check out the hosiery. <laughs> These are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You <laughs> well, then, here's your new best friend. Nice. All right, I got a gun. First Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, bullets are hard to get. First Sproutella gun. Cold still. What? Do I have to, like, bluff? Chapito. Huh? Who? What? Well, I got a long day. Please, oh, wait. Still. <laughs> Lay down your tools. Guard. We're busting out of here. Man, if Why I had a I, gotta... Terry, I could really start some trouble here. Stupid chisel. Looks like he doesn't have anything else to chat about. Let me see if I can threaten Domino with a gun. No, we didn't beat Bloodstained. It's probably going to be a couple more sessions since I'm doing more grinding than I normally would. Because it's fun. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. I guess I did get to the bad ending, but it doesn't count. It's really not much use without bullets. Whoops. Meant to talk to her. Here. What good's a relationship without trust? <laughs> True. A relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go. Mitchie, you don't know what you I know exactly what I'm doing. Now move! Hmm. Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. <laughs> you're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. <laughs> Fine. It really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. Oh, you take shoot. that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm gonna crack you open like a fake thing, boss. I'm gonna... <laughs> <sighs> Trick. <It's> all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker, but a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Bummer. Domino. Hey, sport. Took my How's gun. The, uh, escape going. What did you do with her? I thought she needed a little uh, time out, that's all. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Anything at her desk that I couldn't get to before? I feel like there's an animation issue with this uh, ashtray. Let me see if it changes in the original. 
No, it just locks for a second before he touches it. It's weird. I don't think I can cancel out of it once I start it. It's locked. Domino, you'd better let me out of here. Let me out! It's me, Meche. It's me, Meche. <clears throat> Must be a combination lock, but there are this no numbers on it. Funny. Poor Don was never good with numbers. <laughs> I promise I won't pull guns on anyone anymore. It's me, Meche. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Money. Ooh, I bet I could pick that. If only I hadn't lost my union card Help! in that poker game. <laughs> See what else I can do here. Because I can talk to the kids. I haven't talked to them in a second. Hola, Angelitos. Hello, Mr. Mean Boss Guy. Hey, would <laughs> one of you children happen to have a gun? Yeah, we do. So stick him up. Let me see it. He doesn't have one. He's such a liar. Oh, yeah? Well, you're stupid. Your light bulbs don't work. Your light bulbs all smell like boogers. Ha! Ah, nobody thinks you're funny anymore. Oh, yeah? Well, everybody in this light bulbs is out smarter of than you. Everybody coral. except for you. Yeah, because I'm especially smarter than you. In your dreams. In your baby bed that's all wet because you wet in it. Shut up, bed wetter. I said shut up. No, no, really. I have to sleep with an umbrella down here. Oh, yeah? Well, at least I never asked Meche to marry me. What? Miss Colomar, you're so pretty. <laughs> How long did they, how much did they record for this? I never said that. Oh, Miss Colomar. Stupid baby blue beanie bedwetter. Pugsy the Bugsy lies like a rugsy. Will you two just shut up? Hey, no fighting, no biting. He started, he started it. Did not. Did not. Did two. Did two. Don't make me come in there. New plan. Mitch is locked up for good. We're leaving without her. We can't, we can't leave, leave without, without Mitch. <laughs> 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 okay. And you could really make the children cry in a lot of different no ways. Uh, all right, more things to check out. Probably nothing to be done with Gladys. I can see if I can get a replacement gun from what's his nuts. To the moon, he says. Stupid chisel. Torpedo. Huh? Who? What? Make children cry and pet the dog. I mentioned my scythe earlier in the list. I was just saying how it's cool that you always have this, but I guess I can see you're trading it for something. Get that away from me. I got my own tools, thank you. Mm -hmm. What about the tiny hammer? Yo, Beto. Have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Did <laughs> he just give me his okay. chisel thing? Nice. Da -de -da -da. It's a bus da -de -da -de -da -da. Fantastic. Yelling. How'd you get a bus stop? I'm connected, and I had some booty to trade. Trade? I think we connected all these things already. Okay. So I got a chisel. I can try to use that to get into the uh, the cell. Although I'm guessing I'm actually going to have to know the combinations since they put it in a mechanic for that. Could try giving it to the kids too. Door. Not picking that up. 
Jenny, where are you? Okay, looks like that might be right. where are you? I'm in here! Must have hit a major circuit. Hmm, but it looks like I've exposed the guts here. Oh, cool. That's part of the solution, possibly. I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. Oh, I can see the lock now? That's kind of cool. I dig that. So I think it's number of turns gets them all in sync with each other, right? It's kind of a cool mechanic. I like that. So I should figure out what turn numbers correspond to what amounts of movement, right? I can jiggle left and right, and I don't think... I think left and right only modifies the bottom one. Let me pull up my notes here one second. So left one equals four one. Right one equals four one. Left three is four one three one. One two one two. Maybe it's not a pattern of consecutive turns, actually. Like a traditional left, left, right, right combination lock. So it goes from controlling just a couple of them to controlling all of them pretty quickly. It's close, you just gotta get the top one now. So you start rotating it too far in one direction. Okay. As close as we were before, which is to say, not close at all. I think I can get this here. Okay, now they're all in the same circuit. We have to do it in such a way they're not blocking the door proper, right? Which might be easier said than done. So I need to figure out, that's the orientation I want it to be in at the end, it looks like. Not that far. Be careful not to move it too far, right? Oh, I'm so close now. Not that far, shoot. It's close. Take that thing all the way around. It's interesting because the little uh, locks aren't like perfectly shaped. I wonder if it's different in the remaster versus the original. It doesn't look like it very much. I think that has to be rotated a little bit more. The third one up. Yeah, that looks like that's right. Looks like after I rotate it too many times, though, I can't get it back out to the way I want it to go. Shoot. 
get number four back to the right spot. Once I have four in the right spot, I should be able to do the rest of them without too much trouble. I just have to be careful not to rotate it too many times in the same direction. There we go. All right, so third one is set. Now I just have to get the second one. Moving the third one a little bit too far, I gotta be a little more careful. Oh no, no, I've turned the whole thing. Shoot. I need to figure out why I'm sometimes turning the whole thing. Maybe they turn in certain increments, right? I thought maybe if I just played around on the bottom that it was based on consecutive turns to move the top lock bar. Okay, so top one's done. Let's reset the bottom as far as we can so we don't move stuff on the top unnecessarily. And I moved them all again. Ha! Huh. Let's get the top one in the right spot. Not there. Oh, that's interesting. So there's something I didn't realize before, but I'm only now realizing while I'm doing it this way. They have to land. You have to be turning left or right to get them to land in the right way to make it flush with the door, as far as I can tell. And it's like you have to end the turn right before it's flush. Otherwise, it doesn't count, kind of. This is pretty tough. It's a cool puzzle, though. I thought it was just going to be collecting the numbers for the combination, but it looks like it's just a visual puzzle. It involves, like, wiggling the thing around until you get it. I'm struggling to get the top tumbler back into place here. That might be good enough, although it moves a little bit when I move it left there, so I'm not sure. Okay, that one's good. Three is in place. Now I have to get the bottom one in place without moving the whole thing. I can go right, right, left, left, but that doesn't move the second tumbler at all. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Let's try going all the way right this time. I see. So I think it's based on a maximum like tension threshold to the left or right. It's not based on consecutive turns, like I thought it was. It makes a little bit more sense than what I was trying last time. Oh, it looks like that's right. It looks like it's flush, isn't it? What? Oh, when I had them so nicely lined up and everything. Oh, that's really mean. That's so I mean. By hand. I... Okay, so I need some other item in order to solve it. I think I know how to reproduce my answer. The the combination lock. I love that they. That he comments on it too. It's like they were so nice and lined up and everything. <laughs> what? Oh, son of a bitch. All right. Try using more items on these guys before I go. Hey, kiddles, check out my bone saw. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
so many opportunities to make children cry in this game. They pick up the soap too. Not here. Not here. Yeah. The main issue is that the uh, the voice acting is a mono recording. The audio is not, but the voice acting is, so it like clips really bad whenever people yell. See if Glados has anything new to say. Uh -oh. Maybe he wants this tool. I might not need it anymore now that I've. Uh... That's as close to the edge as I want to be. Done that thing with the safe. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. I was just wrenching it for fun, but your idea is good too. Hey, need one of these? Uh, that would have been easier to get her open than with my head, but it's too late now. <laughs> it's cool that they added dialogue for that. Yeah, I've been watching the equalizer for the game, trying to get the audio balance right, and whenever there's dialogue, you can see that the left and right channels fill at exactly the same rate. It's really weird. I feel like I've never seen a game uh, take a hit on voice acting quality, but then keep it the same for the music quality. No, it's not really that kind of job. But thanks. No problem, Gladys. Very glad you're not dead. That's as close to the edge as I want to be. So there should be new puzzles I can do up here now, I would assume. I think I actually ran up this thing when it was going the wrong direction before. Maybe it was just like jank that allowed me to get away with it. I'm trying to figure out why that switch was there in the first place. These crushers are going to matter for something. Flottis does, though. I don't want to bust all that. Hmm. Maybe I can use the bust all on the crane thing? Let's see. I think what else I can use it on. I think I've tried putting the scythe in there already and it yelled at me. Chekhov's crushers, right? Too big of a set piece for it not to be that. I did use it on the children and made them cry. Poor Spikey, who I think has this on in the background, suddenly hears loud mono sound crying. I don't want to bust all that. It's not the children, it's the crushers. <laughs> Oh god. Okie dokie. I can see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. The scoops <laughs> learned its lesson. Nice. Okay, so did something just fall down off the water, potentially? Interesting. You can use that to climb down the chain, I guess. I can't get out of here. There's no ladder. Huh. So 
So where do I want to drop the chain is the questions to be. I guess we're doing this because we want the chain by itself for some reason. I don't know why yet. I can't get out of here. There's no ladder. So like setting it down always puts it in the same place, but I still can't exit after I do that, right? And if I want to move left or right, I have to pull the chain back up. Okay. Oh, interesting. So if I switch the direction of the thing, is going to pull the chain down with it to Glottis? Interesting. Whoa! It's almost like it was built to do that. That's cool. to do with Glottis involving the wrench. I guess I could turn the whole thing again now that it's on here and see what that does. Yeah, here, I don't know if I'm meant to be able to climb this thing when it's pointed the wrong way. I guess we'll see. Oh, cool. Is it gonna get stuck on the anchor? Oh, okay. So come kind of shenanigan about hooking it onto the anchor, I think. I can move the chain around to get it to crap. There's nothing down at the bottom. Maybe if I switch the direction on this thing. That just makes it bunch up. Hmm. I'll try picking it up after punching it up. But I think it's just going to pull it all the way up top now, right? bunching it up in some way. I don't know why that matters yet. There's a lot of cool, like, physical interaction puzzles in this game. Like, putting the, uh, the card in the pneumatic tube system. I don't know if that's just a Tim Schafer thing. I don't remember there being terribly many of those in some of his other games that we've played on stream already. Sort of thing that like makes perfect sense in hindsight. Okay, cool. So now we've grabbed onto that. So maybe moving the crane is gonna pull up the anchor now. I'm gonna jump off. through a big coral reef, eh? Okay, give me a minute or two. A minute or two? Is there a way to get through that reef yet? No. 
Did you? No. I can't board without the others. Man, he's such a good problem solver. It's impressive. Man, was that ever hard to launch. Sorry, good. Serial discussions. The thing you ping me about, yeah, and I'll look through the history later, but I only update the gift sub tab Those once a month, so it might just be out of date. Bits. I can check the chat log and confirm all of them. So I have to do something with the grinders to get rid of the coral reef, presumably. I already tried using this and it didn't let me, right? I don't want to bust all that. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, I would, but my back. I don't have the strength to rip them out. I don't have the strength to rip them out. Seems to suggest it's an, something to do with uh, a lot of us, right? But putting it down here in the middle appears to be pointless because then I can't get, I can't out, get out, right? Here. There's no ladder. Oh, here we go. Those things are dangerous. I'd be ground to bits. No worries. I'll take a look at it. I think so. Um, I just gotta search through the chat log and figure it out. I can't board without the others. I can't board. Hmm. The, having a chain in there is simply stop the grinders. What is it letting me do that I couldn't do before? Those things are dangerous. They pretty significantly dangerous. limited the number of items I have on me now, which is interesting. There's the scythe. I don't want to mess up my date. Yeah. I don't want to bust all that. It doesn't work either. Hmm. Maybe it'll just break them if I pull the chain back out. Oh, there we go. Oh, that makes yeah, sense. This will do just fine. Just give me a sec to do some figuring. So he's gonna use these to get through the coral because it's what it's for. Okay, I understand. I thought I had to do more, but God, I just moved the thing right now. I don't want to bug him. He's figuring. Gladys is big. He's figuring. <laughs> nice. Nothing left in there. I need to find a way to keep the tumblers from moving. Maybe I can like put the scythe in there to keep it from spinning or something. Hey, how you doing, Chaos? No reason to drop the chain anymore, it seems like. All right, wrapping up errands. The dream. All right, so this tumblers puzzle is kind of hard. <laughs> I don't want to do it again if my solution is wrong, so I'll just ask chat if anyone knows. Um, I was planning on doing the tumblers and then putting my scythe in there to try to keep them from spinning when I go to open the door. Uh, will that work? I haven't saved in a minute. I can't move those by. I guess I didn't enter the right comment. Shit, I hope it doesn't reset. Well, I guess I have to. It's harder, no matter how it's randomized here. Okay, 
so that one, top one, should be good. Second from the top one needs to be moved left to be finished, I think. Well, maybe not. Wait, that's what we want. Turn it one more step if I can do that from the left, I'm not sure. Well, I'll try this slight solution. Let's see if it works. I don't think that's quite right. I think it needs to be a little bit further, the penultimate one. That might be right. And I'm gonna be really careful with, ah. Boo earns. Move number three, one more step. Uh, maybe a little bit more now, because I screwed it up. Yeah, that might be good enough, I guess we'll see. Okay, top one seems fine. Sorry, my phone is blown up. I'm trying to keep it on in case people ping me on Discord because I missed a pretty important thing during Bloodstain yesterday. I'll just I'll just mute it and if I miss stuff, I miss stuff. No. Okay, that top one in place. Now I'm worried that I solved it once and I'll never get it again. It's like I have limited jiggling once I get the top one set, basically. It's the best way I can describe it. Okay, there's the top one is set. Dang it. One is set again. I think I have to be careful with how many left turns I make here. I think I immediately turn the top one if I'm not careful. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. We'll see. Now I can move number two without moving the third one, I think. Might not be good enough, we'll see. I can't move. Not that, we already did that. Okay. <laughs> nice. Whew. All right, Mitchie, you can come out now. Mitchie? We've got this, Marstead. Where? Pow. Where? First try. Mitchie, are you in there? It's time to come out, honey. No time for hide and seek. From Fandango for Smash. Every single move is a different use of the scythe. is heavy. Hmm. I can drag it, it looks like. Just gotta figure out why I'm dragging it. Must be 
very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. They're all locked. These, they're all, these must be. Uh-oh, oh, Raul. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as easy to pick from this side. Can't use the axe. The oh, whole many. Try digging into the wall again. Okay, good. Oh, no, I can I just activate it. All that. I don't... Ha! Bust all my ass. <laughs> I think that would just bring the whole ugly thing crashing down on me. Clever. Manny, I knew you would. Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh the wind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, this is my room. The wind. Go use up the air in your own room. I don't want to mess up my blade, my scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. What's in these cases? Take a look. Tickets. It's all the double end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean they move? They become agitated around human souls, and the ticket that belongs to mm. you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets. And the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? Interesting. I couldn't reach that vent, even if I stood on Mitch's shoulders. Wouldn't it make more sense for me to stand on your shoulders anyway? Are you kidding? Look at your heels. <laughs> I couldn't reach that. Thanks for not shooting me. Look, I'm sorry. I should have trusted you. It's just that the past two years have been pretty right, tough, you know? You look like you could use a nice ocean cruise. Still my travel agent, eh? You know what I am? Maybe she can help me with this axe. They change the controls. They, like, invert them while you're holding this thing, which makes sense. It's kind of a cool way of simulating how hard the thing is to move. Okay, I can't. Oh, there it is. But she doesn't judge me. I think I can bring it over to that valve, is my next guess. Ugh. What did turning this do earlier? Nothing? Why would Hector... Can I use my bust all on it, maybe? I don't want to bust all that. I don't want to bust all that. Don't think I can use the axe. You look like you could use a nice... Still my travel agent, eh? She doesn't say anything about this. I already tried to bust all everything outside. I don't know what using the axe on this thing is going to do. Wait. 
Can you reach up here and do something? Oh. I don't know what that accomplished. Maybe he like sliced the hole. Let's see. Now, all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? I can't reach that high. Hmm. Thank you. I can't reach that high. So like a uh... Oh, not again. <laughs> I guess I don't think I'm ever going to be able to actually pick this up, so it must involve setting it down somewhere, right? That's my best guess. Where the water drained out? Oh, uh, yeah, looks like that was right. There was a drain under the tile. After you. Interesting. What about the suitcases? Forget them. They're counterfeit. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go. Nice. I'm so glad to see hey, and we saved the kids. Uh, is the boat already? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. <laughs> That's cool. I thought he was going to go out there and manually do it. Wonderful. What? It's really curious what the hell is going on with Domino. And the bad guy. So are you really going Other to bad guy. Boss bad guy. Job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. The ominous submarines in the background. This is a, who comes up with that idea? The octopus-powered submarine. Oh man, Reaper fight! Whoa! Let me save real quick, just in case. I feel like this game doesn't have game over conditions, but if there's gonna be one, this is where it's gonna be. This doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Dom, I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider this your severance. <laughs> I don't think I can fight him. What are you doing away from your desk anyway? I'm sending this domino back to the bone pile. Somewhere else I can interact. Oh god. Nice. That's cool. The cool set piece of the octopus ended up mattering. You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen. If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you. Hey, nice. Thanks, kid. Kids. Nice. Howdy, sir. How you doing? And then one year later, okay. I thought maybe that was going to be the final act, but it makes sense that the whole game's always taking place in year skips. It's a long time to travel. Well, I guess they rescued all the slaves from underground. That makes sense. Underwater, I should say. Name. 
Bugsy Feligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. The design of this guy is pretty great. Flores! Flores! Does man? Does Manny have hair now? Gladys, where'd you go this or is time? Where's that hat? I guess we'll see. Save again, just in case. I think it's a hat. Ah, oh, Gladys would love these. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! No, you they're gonna, they're from Act One, one Year One. There. You could have at least given me a magazine. <laughs> Four years with nothing That's to awesome. read with this damn mug. What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah, wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. <laughs> that's a great payoff. I think that's full of that gunk that I filled it with earlier. Let's There's see. some packing foam in here with a Bruno shaped dent in it. Oh man, you know, they did this plant in year one about uh, how the packing foam is explosive if you combine it with the um, uh, fire extinguisher, and it never paid off, and I'm like, that's interesting, they just got me get rid of the fire extinguisher. Hello? So I wonder if we're going to do something with that before They're the end empty. of the game. Hello? Whew. They're empty. It was such a conspicuous a plant, too. Up. Nothing out there but snow and a perfectly good pair of sunglasses. Gladys and Manny! What's wrong? Go up there and see! Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. Hmm. Little hairs on his skull. They can stand out from the other characters. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's awesome. The rest are stuck in limbo. I like this, this Aztec temple. What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. Cool. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in El Maro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate guy's a familiar closes. voice actor, it too. I can't place him, though. Hey. hey, how'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody <clears throat> gave me no ticket, so nobody can take Looks it like away. He's glitching so out what a little bit here. Around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Okay, Better so he's supposed to be circling in the little well, I see. I go on to the next, you know. Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I could march nice. around in it like Chibito, but I think a better way to even out my life would be to go get those tickets. It's a cool wrap up to some of the characters we've met. 
can tell that that voice actor hasn't actually sung that song before, though. You can tell that uh, Glottis definitely had when he busted out with him. I could actually do it. I could walk out of this world right now and not look back, but I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. Hmm. Looks like the achievement window is right outside of what I'm cutting out for it to be 480p, but every now and then an achievement's popping up with a quote that I just read, so I'm assuming most of those are like iconic quotes from the game. Like the one about scaring the pigeons. Look out, pigeons, it's Robert Frost. I get the feeling that operating that switch is out of my powers. <laughs> Something won't let me go in there. That is I, the keeper of the gate. I need to go get my friends. You need to get your friends their tickets. Well, it's not that I'm afraid or anything, but there are easier ways into the station, and I'm not walking back to El Maro. Not picking that up. I reach it with the not scythe. Right now. Okay. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you, he left this note. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Really? Well... Thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Some that is the keep. I feel like Glottis fell off the edge last time so we could see where to inspect. Oh, there he is. Glottis. Hear the name of the Great One. Glottis. <laughs> What's happening? Why is he the Great One? How many days has this Grand Demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? months? Oh, then the Noble One will surely die. But... For Glottis? Glottis, I'm sorry. Many. Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. Aww. Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. What can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. At this point, like four but years ago, right? Not here, Karnal. Three years ago, I guess. See you on the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> no more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. <laughs> Fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is. My final work. It could save me if you have the right... <coughs> The right you <laughs> What fuel, Gladys? Gladys? Gladys, what fuel? Oh. oh. It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. Hmm. It looks like they're br It looks like they're brilliant. Gladys, what? Uh. I don't think I can talk to Mitch, eh? He's too big. The gondola is too slow. Hey, how about a gondola ride, Gremlins? He's too big. The gondola is too slow. I like their accent and the Vocaloid effect they put on it. My joints don't need any oily right now. My joints... My joints... How eerie. They lock up their tools just like Gladys. Yeah, they kind of remind me of the minions from Despicable Me. They're definitely first. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. Sadly, I have no mug to hang. Okay. Maybe it's there won't be a puzzle eggs. with it. Sadly.
full of rags. Oh, it's a toaster. I Your see. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. Your I'm signed. Your I'm. But it's locked. So. Your mother. I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock it until some of you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> he just laughs. Your, like, nope, I'm we're not picking up that refrigerator. Was a good idea to have a clean rag around. Okay. I already have a rag I don't know what to do with. Oh, they're not gonna let me carry infinite ones like the bread earlier. Not paid to move those. Can I get oil on the rag? Okay, yeah. Makes sense. This better not stay in my pocket. It's an oily rag that I made all by myself. <laughs> I'll oil stuff later, once Gladys is okay. Here, Carnal, get away for this. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Make sure to lay some of those on my grave, will you, Manny? I'll oil stuff later. Once glad. I'm no gondola gunker upper. Mm. So this goes down here. So we need to go down this way. I don't know what the purpose of the mug was yet. oil stuff that's the road we came in on nothing out there but I'll oil stuff later once Gladys is okay I can't combine items so it doesn't have anything to do with the note that I got at least not yet <laughs> like rinse I'll it in the pool stuff later once Gladys is okay Very cool, dark, like final act here. I'll oil stuff later once Gladys is okay. Well, maybe I can soil something in I'll here. Oh, God, who puts oily rag in a toaster? Oh, there's a fire extinguisher. Okay, yeah, I think they are gonna finally pay that off after all this time. Right, but the mug I set on the tree had the foam in it. That powerful could fuel a, a rocket. Hey, if we had more. Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. Year three was cool. I really like the tumbler puzzle. I'm glad that that paid off. I was getting worried. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a good funeral pyre. Hooray for things that were planted paying off. This is what I was talking about. We were discussing plants and payoffs in Discord the other day. Like the new... Oh, wait, this scene's over. Freezing up. Oh no. Well, shit. Yeah, I like the gatekeeper. I'm trying to place his voice actor. I've only recognize one voice actor in this so far the Bobby from King of the Hill. Rubicaba! What a town! Remember the glory days, Manny? Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now, except maybe our old car. Nice. Dios mio, she's been booby-trapped. By who? <laughs> who? It's the 
I wonder who did it. It's a good question. I love it. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. Fantastic. Don't panic. God! <laughs> it's Looks cool like to bring Domino us back here. His calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. Maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. They got, uh, dude. They got Hugo Weaving to voice the gatekeeper? It's locked, but that goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. See, 98, that was a year before. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Who set up the domino trap? Gotcha. Let's see, oh my god, I guess 98 well, was a year before the Matrix. <laughs> Well, what happened to the limo? Tom Kane, yeah, he's in a lot of stuff. Asko, but she went down at the Pearl. But we Thanks for checking, six guys. Yes, La Mancha and managed to the La Mancha, my old rusty bucket. Where is she? Oh, well, I feel like this chapter seems to be going back and revisiting a lot of the characters and ideas we've established so far. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Where does the butter? Here I come. Mob town. Mm. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. I drink it, but I'd probably get the SS Lumbago stuck in my throat. You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on at least. Uh, okay, it's a ship in a bottle. I thought I was just mashing the confirm button and just grab something there. I was saying earlier that uh, we were talking in Discord about plants and payoffs and how the new uh, Final Fantasy XIV expansion down here. is actually pretty well written. Is so he looking Don't at the moon? That kind of equipment. Don't have that kind of equipment. And that the early 14 expansions are kind of bad, like they plant a lot of things that never pay off and it's really frustrating because you don't know what to pay attention to. But like Tim Schafer et al. are people that are know how to write well. So if they do something like mention the fire extinguisher, it's going to matter later, even if it's, you know, three years later in game time. I don't mess with Olivia's stuff, she doesn't mess with mine. That's the deal. I just can't do it without an audience. Well, uh, I do. Olivia. Calavera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Is it time yeah, Morrow's a starting town, no. that's right. We're having a little car trouble. Come by when it's time. I would, but I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. I would. I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plate. Not to sound like a capitalist oppressor, but I have people who do that for me now. No room for that. It's really good. I'm enjoying it. And the 3D, like, even in the original, is not too bad. I've had a couple points where there was the equivalent of a pixel hunt, like getting out of the locked door in the uh, uh, pneumatic tube room. It's a little tricky. It's locked. Like, we come back here, but they restrict a lot of the areas you can revisit. It just goes to the top, doesn't it? Yeah, I noticed they do that head-pointing thing. I know other games have done that, obviously. Grim Fandango did it way before Wind Waker, but I associate that mostly with Wind Waker. Poor Lola, that was really sad. That was a cool quest line, too. So it felt very noir. Mm, 
not a good sign for Rubikawa's organized labor movement. Like right there, I knew to inspect something because I saw his head move to face it. I can't take the elevator. Mm. Don't panic. Yeah! You really should get back in case it blows. I'm with you guys till the end. You know that. Talk to the tattoo artist, maybe. down here oh god no i don't want to disturb this grumpy little i guess he's just sleeping i don't want to wake up toto not my fault you never get me under that thing there can't be too much in here i'd better save it i don't know what i just grabbed hold still Liquid nitrogen, not to be oh. used on bone. Yeah, that was also planted and is now paying off. I completely forgot about that one, though. That's cool. I don't know what to use it on, though. Can I, oh, I can't combine items, so I couldn't use it with the ship in the bottle. I have a feeling the ship in the bottle, I'm just going to use it as a bottle. <laughs> right? Setting foot down there, the slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. It's a cool little puzzle set piece just there. Evaporate. Okay. So I can't pour it on something. Let's think about the areas I'm allowed to access and the things that are accessible in those areas. There's the room with the car, the tattoo parlor, which I think I've done in because it just gives me the don't want to wake him up message all the time. Oh, you think you think Grim Fandango is silly game saucer? <laughs> Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. It's a very serious game. Don't have that kind of equipment. Don't have that kind of equipment. Three-headed monkey. Yeah, it's pretty great. I love the deadpan joke. Like, whoever could have done this? <laughs> like, someone set a trap, but who was it? Is it time to go yet? No. We're having a little car trouble. Come by when it's time. The only thing I can access is this room. Not to sound like a capitalist. I would, but I hate suck. I would, but I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. Okay, well that's a new dialogue line. Everything else in this room is the same, right? Not to, I'm not gonna. Keeps mentioning the dirty plates. Not here. Can't use the. I don't know why I would use the note. I think this is something I should keep to myself. They still haven't done these. <laughs> try using the bottle. Oh, what's? You say I'm just using That's it as a bottle, huh? Lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. That's what <laughs> the Lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. Okay. What does that do? You can't even see the ship anymore. I love it. Oops. 
Try using the water on the dominoes, I guess. I don't know to what end. Don't panic. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. I don't really want to do that. I'd drink it, but I'd probably get the SS Lumbago stuck in my throat. <laughs> I'd drink it, but I'd probably get the SS Lumbago stuck in my throat. Hmm. My scythe. No. He just doesn't take his scythe out in this area at all. Alright, I'm probably going to have to start asking my question. I'm a little puzzled. Uh, am I done with the uh, tattoo parlor and the lighthouse and the blue casket? Or is there anything left to do in any of those three areas? It's locked, but there's nothing up there anyway. That goes to the upper dock, but nothing's docked there now. I am done with them. I can solve a puzzle without leaving this screen. Thank you, that's helpful. Brute force heroes. The alarm level here. <laughs> Which is already quite high. Try giving them a liquid I'll nitrogen. Stomach through enough for a while. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. This looks like this is doing something. Maybe. Uh oh. No soft locks. I think I saved after I landed here. It looks like he's trying to turn to face me, but he's stuck. Uh, no. All right, all right, it's okay. I saved fairly recently. I have to redo a couple things, but it's not the end of the world. I think I have to Alt F4. I switch to the other graphics, does that matter? Double find it again. Oof. We haven't had one of those since uh, the forest, right? That was the big one. Um, Grim Fandango. Maybe make it kill the process too. Let's see if it launches. I got a soft lock guy. I tried to hand something to Gladys and he got stuck trying to turn. Oh my god. This is so far back. Why haven't I saved again? I'm the worst. Okay, no, it's fine. I know exactly what to do. Should be able to power through it pretty fast. Oh, Skip all the dialogue. Save as soon as I get there. Bruno. I love they warn you this game doesn't auto save. I love that he finally pays off, too. Let's just save after each little thing, why not? It's interesting, because they definitely, like, spent resources on, uh... Recent, I adding the line that says there's no autosave. <laughs> Maybe they tried and they're like, oh, well, we should at least comment on it. I could have sworn that I saved when I got to the to Rubicavo. It's okay. So it'll just be a few minutes setback. Could be worse. I drink it, but I don't want to get a packing foam mustache. I don't think I would have I done that mug thing. I just happened to have it out when I was mashing the confirm button. It was a good idea to have a clean rag around. Did expect to use the rag with the oil. This better not stain my pocket. I'll, I'll oil stuff. I'll oil. Big explosion. 
Minion gremlin to show up real quick to save the day. What was in the All right. Save. Don't load. Save. Liquid nitrogen. Ship in the bottle. Lady at the blue casket. And then save and then bring the ship in the bottle with the goop in it to uh to Galatas and try to make sure he doesn't get stuck trying to turn. Grim fasting. I don't want to wake up Toto. Not my fault. There can't be too much in here. I better save it. Yo, dude. Caskets. All right, we're back. Caught up. Five ish minutes. Man, if you know what to do in an adventure game, you can really speed run it, huh? All right. Don't panic. Let's try to stand directly in front of him. See if that helps. I drink it, but I, I drink, I, I drink. Oh dear. Maybe we're okay. What's that? It's a uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mm. <laughs> Should watch his stomach and be doing this stuff. A teeth, actually. <laughs> yes, sirree. Not bad, tall. Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. <laughs> Lumbago lemonade! Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. <laughs> I don't know what the plan is. <laughs> My stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. So what is that stuff that ears hands in any way? <laughs> Spam gelatin. God. Gross. Good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. Make a gel. Hey, I made it spill. The rest is up to you. Looks like Domino left his car. But how? I s he must. Okay. So I use the liquid nitrogen with this? So I can walk on top of the dominoes? That's goofy. <laughs> yep, it looks like that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's ice nine, hey, not liquid good nitrogen. Idea. I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Okay. God. 
Okay, I uh, ice above it. I'd better disarm her first. Well, here goes nothing. I enjoy it. This game really seems to get to the point in a lot of cases. Like, we don't make Looks a big like thing of him disarming it. We just figure he disarms it. Move on. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Hey! Places like this. Revolution. I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who. Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have. I can see what's happened after three years. I'm fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. Yeah, I like that too, Yahan. Like you get it. It was a trap. Stand back. There's only one thing to do. Paid off and bought his drinking problem, which could have just been played for laughs, but they had it matter in the end. Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. That seems important too. You can sever uh, something before getting sprouted. To explain now i'll have to take matters into my own hands take me with you i've longed to be of service to your cause for years Gladys' little look there. Better save this part from sprouting. No, it might come in handy. <laughs> uh... Memo to all agents. Priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Let's see. Oh, no, it doesn't prompt me if I want to do a new game. Are we serious? Oh my god, I wanted to save the game. I was trying to be good. Uh, it's fine. Did he already throw up? That's a bummer. It just instantly pops a new game. Back to back. Manny, don't worry. Uh, bye. Oh. Oof. So Big oof. Still liquefied. It wouldn't stop the dominoes. I snide in the room. Hey, good. I Just let me get across first, okay? Well. Better save the. Get the hand. Memo. In all. Okay. Careful now. Save game is the first one. If I want to save, I just press start A. Don't press, I don't press any D-pad buttons. Any, under any circumstances. <laughs> All right. So, try to do it after cutscene. Same thing as Mega Man. Very safe game. Sorry, 
Mario Super Awesome. <laughs> I see plenty of that. Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert. The munitions Bell, expert is a botanist. The florist. Of that course. Was in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sproutella for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. This scammer sprouted as well. That. LSC casualties. It's, it's attached pretty well. Nothing to see but flowers. But it's attached pretty well. Bet if I could get that plant lover out of there, I could talk him into making a gun for me instead. Any messages for me? Another. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. <laughs> Manuel, is everything okay? Ah, thanks, oh, Laguna. Uh, just testing the How appropriate. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. Oh man, Olivia and Salvador. Salvador, come in. Salvador? Man with the Machine Gun is one of the greatest the game songs of all time. Hector just shot. That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. Hey, Eva finally got that radio working. This guy back. The photo might matter okay, later. Here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector and a gun. So we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you Again, out that doing a great job of setting up what I should be doing. This casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. Nothing else in there besides that agent's photo. Thought maybe I could talk to this. Ow! Hey, must be a little <laughs> bitchy. Nice. Humorous part of the skeleton. I just saw that. Oof. Remember, just press start and then A. Don't press the D-pad on the right pause screen. Play so many games on this channel, keeping track of how everyone's menus are arranged. I really like the whole revolutionary group. Like, it makes a lot more sense and it's more interesting when you have this long time skip and you see them where they are now. Monsters again? How about this one? Anyone down here? Monsters again? Can anyone hear me besides the scary monster? Dang. <laughs> I don't know what's down there, but I have issues with it. Okay, gotcha. Climb this ladder. Yeah. You know, what do you say? I'm not I wanting to go out there yet. The disguise is pretty face before I hit the streets. Okay. Oh, nice. It's not like Johnny Thunder lets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, yes. you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And then, here's the good part. Really? No use for it. You don't. A coffee maker? Mmm, show business coffee. I am not 
Theater. A little too hot for my pockets. Thank you. A little too hot for my pockets. Thank you. Okay, he won't put it away. What? You can't just buy a double N. Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows uh, Hector Lamas. Wow, you know everybody. Well, I guess so. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. Maybe I have to spike their coffee with something, is my guess. About time we got a PA around here. Hey, kid, keep it black and keep it coming, all right? So what did you... <laughs> okay, so I can definitely give them multiple things. Oh, coffee. Thanks. <laughs> that ladder is a little too long to climb with scalding hot coffee in my hands. Hmm. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. But I can't mix anything in the coffee. I guess I could set it down. Maybe that's it's why they don't want you time. putting it in your inventory. It's the first item we found that we could pick up that we... I don't see any place to serve coffee here. I don't see... Set it back. Can I then put something in it? There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Okay. Well, that's not the answer. Hey, out of the dressing room. We got all the Thunder Boys we need. Hmm. So I don't think I can do anything in the monster room right now. I know there's a coffee maker, so I'll go see if I can find liquid to pour into it. That's my current guess. Not right now. Not right now. You know, if I had had a car like this when I was alive, things would have been different. Not right now. Not right now. You want to talk to Gladys? Oh, down there. Am I done in this room? I feel like there's something I should be able to do with the uh, the pigeon. It just bites my hand when I talk Already to it. Already got some. Already got some. Already got some. Already got some. Let's see if I can do it with. Must be a little Mitchy. Already got busy. some. Already got some. Mm. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? Already got some. This bitch has got my scary note from Hector. Any messages for me? Nope. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Oh, the scary message is a big threat. I bet I can send it to somebody else. I think I understand. He's a messenger pigeon. I gave him a note. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, okay. I get it. Go, That's baby, clever. For la revolution. Thanks for clarifying that there was still something to do with the pigeon. I didn't think to use it as an item. They got eaten. I see. With a message for me? 
I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it. I knew he was out to get me the whole time. <laughs> You'll never find my secret out at all. You're going to have to find yourself another flourish. Nice. Nice. Very cool. But poor little Meche died. Sad. Having fun there, Gladys. This remote control works the bone wagon suspension. Not so high! If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glory mittens. Hmm. This remote control works the bone wagon suspension. I think that would be disrespectful. I think that would be disrespectful. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Yeah. Mr. Dufresne. I don't want to mess up my blade. No use for it. No use for it. You know, if I had had a car like this when I was alive, things... I saw Bowsley run down here. Where did he go? He's hanging out with the monster? Bowsley's probably in that maze, but I'd never be able to find him without, well, without something really helpful. <laughs> No use for it. So I thought I had a good idea there with using the arm on the, uh, the juice to sprout it, but I guess I don't know what I would use that for. some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. There's got to be something I can still do with the coffee maker, right? Let me do a pixel hunt with the mouse really quick. So there's the exit. There's this door where someone wants coffee from me. There's these guys. Is that a ladder next to them? Oh, I didn't even see that shit. This snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Uh, it's a, okay. Uh, it's a handheld grinder. So what can I grind in it? Don't want to grind that thing. I guess I can try the picture. That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. Oh God! I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. I assumed it involved an item since I picked it up and set it right back down and couldn't carry it with me. I would, but it's full. Wood, but it's full. Huh. Hey, Thunder Boys, who said that? People call out your name all the time when you're famous. You get used to it. <laughs> that sounds like uh, Patrick Warburton. I don't think hey, it is. Thunder Boys, who said that? People call out your name all the time when you're famous. You get used to it. He's wonderful. He's one of my favorite actors, voice actors. Use and pick up are separate buttons and matter sometimes. So like, 
their height is extremely suspicious, or that camera angle is extremely suspicious, right? I see, but it doesn't actually go in my inventory. Oh, I guess this one does. It's a bone chipper now. Hey, have you ever used a dandruff shampoo? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> okay, so it is going to involve something with just dump blocks of fake snow on the ground. Not a very pouring them down there. Hey, Thunder Boys, who's sleeping? Hey, who's sleeping? I guess that's why they let me set it back down though, so I could put the hand in it. Since you don't do a lot of combining items in this game otherwise. Oh, coffee, great. It's about time. So I'll climb this ladder, but not the other one. Okay. Ah! Oh! oh, what did you do that for? I didn't. I. You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. <laughs> So what was the purpose of that? Is the question. I don't think they I'm were blocking anything. Too hot for my pockets. Thank you. Do their ladders a lot longer. I don't see any place to. It's good coffee. that they block you from taking it out of the room that way, because that would be confusing. Hey, kid! This is your lucky day. We got an opening, and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Come well, on down. We got to start your makeup. Now don't go too far, you never know what time is showtime around here. Oh, it's my disguise. Okay, that's cool. It looks kind of cool, actually. So now I can go explore the city streets, presumably. Oh, cool. Secret door. Game. There's a little bit of a hang there. Oops, didn't mean to go that way. Okay, I thought he was gonna watch off his mega. I can't remember the last time I had access to a men's room. <laughs> oh, this guy. Going up? This elevator goes up straight to the penthouse suite of Hector Lamans. Mr. Lamans, he only do the business with the very select elite clientele. Gets another of the same species of demon. Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know what's going on under that makeup, Agent Calavera. You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? <laughs> yes, we're just giving me this story about turning in certain calls by gathering funds for the LSA <laughs> while stealing from our arch enemy at the same time. Yes, gather funds by gambling. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I'll stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector oh, Lemons himself, and I'll I make love the it. machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah, oh, this guy. Can you crack any machine? None of these unholy temples is safe from the LSA. Mira, can you crack? None of them. Mira. Marty, you're not a graceful kitty. Please be careful jumping around up there. Hey, these work without money. Maybe Hector's not all that bad. I knew it. They're all fixed. <laughs> Buenos dias. Back off, sleazeballer. My husband here will bust your jaw. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. Can you crack? No, no. Oh, I did not know that. No. <laughs> he fits his whole body inside the machine. That's fantastic. Can you crack? It's 
font wonderful. I didn't notice him doing it over there when I was talking before. None of these on me. Narayan. To get inside the machine? Nice, I didn't think about that. It's clever. He literally gets inside the machine, that's how he plays it. I'm okay for now. I'm okay for now. Camera wigs out on this screen. I think I can fix it. There we go. All right, so I talked to some people there. New things I have. I've got the bone grinder. I can probably grind some bone powder onto this coop on the ground. I'll give that a try. I don't know why. Just know that bone sprouts when it touches that stuff. Is it making like a little trail to follow? Flakes Let's go. Sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears. That's cool. I dig that. It's really cool. Clever puzzle. Follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. All right. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us. Oh no! We Resident Evil now. I can't reach that high. Hmm. I can't reach that high. Oh man, we got our Oregon Trail style adventure sequence, right? I see. Clever. Make sure that it's actually a puzzle to solve. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The hydraulics matter again. Thank you, Gladys. So probably need to lower it again. After I get up here. Dysentery. Look at it. The only item you can use when you're on the thing is this, which is probably smart. I think I might have a second there to use the button again to get his attention. Maybe that's why they changed the camera angle. It's my next guess.
Alright, so he's already up. Maybe I can like make a noise as I'm about to go down to get his attention or something. I guess I can't use it while I'm on the ladder though. Not right now. Like crush his tail maybe is why it bothers to show what it looks like. Oh cool. Nice. <laughs> Get it. No. No. Hector? Hey man. Hector, is that you? Listen, Bowsley, I'm not here to hurt you. Listen, Bowsley, I'm here to hurt you. It's not Hector, it's Manny Calavera. It's not Hector, it's Manny Calavera come to sprout ya. <laughs> you better back off, man. I mean it, I'm not feeling too rosy. That's no I'm way heavy. to treat an agent of the I LSA. Feel... That's no way I'm to treat an I agent better. of the LSA. <laughs> Things are gonna change around here. There can't be too yeah, much man. in here. I'd better save it. It's locked. There's other shot. Who, it's who, locked. Who do you think you're fooling? There's other shot. I'm not touching any of I these human friends. remains. Is that so wrong? Mm. I'm not touched. This human remains. Same. It's locked. There's other shot. Freshness counts. Can't reach. I'm having. I Can't feel... reach tends to mean uh, I've learned now. Better. Only eight hours Things into the game. Gonna change around here. Do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box! Do get out of here right now or I'll let you have it! I'll... Hey there, stranger! Can I help you? Um... Uh, Why is he I'm fine all of a sudden? In a nine millimeter? Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. I'm not under sure I understand what happened, why he's fine now that I got rid of the go. thing. Would you like some baby's breath to go with that? Sure. All no, right. I know why he has a gun, but why did he calm down after I knocked the thing off the door? Oh, because he hears the bell, he assumes I'm a customer instead of someone there to kill him. But he had a thing up there that was blocking the bell from triggering. Okay, I see. I only solved it because of the thing about that's out of my reach. But I didn't know why I was doing it. Bowsley was right. This is the good stuff. My gun doesn't need reloading yet. Yeah, that seems like that's a little tough to figure out. Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped coming for you the On purpose, line. anyway. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Memo to all agents. Priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. No use for it. Poor Gladys. There's use for Gladys. Get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Okay. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. I'm going to punt this for oh. the first chance I get. God. I'm going to punt this oh. for the first chance I get. Not funny. I'm going to punt this twerp the first Back. chance I get. Oh, I'm gonna have an item to use with him, right? I better not expose my hey. weapon in here. Probably security cameras everywhere. 
Okay, so there's something I have to do while he's in the sheet. I understand. Just as soon as my system pays off here. Just as soon as my system pays off. So it probably involves talking to the unicycle guy. I told him there was a big toga party at the Casino Romano, but he had to wear this sheet to get in. After he changes, you take his suit and go upstairs. I see. Okay. Gotcha. There's a long pause there. I'm gonna go ahead and save again, just in case. You never know. You're trickier than I thought. Not again. <laughs> I'll get you. Special assignment just in from Salvador. Help! Young lady. Crack that machine and leave the change right away. Yes, sir. <laughs> See it up close. Nice. Crying out loud. Not funny. He's got his own face as a jackpot for the because the slot machines. Really clear on the secret part of the secret agent. The other guy is yelling about being in the LSA. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. They won't be one from me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Great. That's Charlie, isn't it? How does that work? What they bone tight in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. <laughs> so, save again, real quick. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Crocky Ducky, then answer me this one simple question. Huh. Okay, how old was Hector Lamans when he stole his first dollar? Uh. This is an extremely suspicious camera angle. Those numbers at the top have to matter, right? Oh my god, there's so many choices. What the hell? What? What kind of question is that? Oh, sorry! <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamaz like I know Hector Lamaz. All right, let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. Looks like the numbers are between 1 and 30. In a million of Hector Lamaz's slot machine paying out. Oh, the numbers changed. 18, maybe? 18? Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess <laughs> with me. Best of seven, damn right. So is there just a different number with every question he asks and you have to look for what's different on the board behind him? Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lemon's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? It's using Maybe the most recent Kino ask. number. Oh, I've never played Kino. I didn't know what that was. I thought maybe that was just like an aid for him to remember, but he's just tricking you basically or making it up. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double end tickets? This it's a scam. price seems much more than double. It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho. Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. Well, they cost a mint because <laughs> they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? 
Oh, I didn't realize it was Celso. The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it. Couldn't have met no nicer guy. Well, because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is raining from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be oh, careful. I skipped a mother. line there in accident about saving your tickets for a rainy day. What about you guys? Let me tell you about my problems. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. <laughs> I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge <laughs> of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? <laughs> Let us blow our nest egg together. Oh, I see. I'm making a sale, basically. I just talked to him right away. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Well, I, 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 of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. <laughs> I don't know who you are. And I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of... <laughs> it's my old office. <laughs> and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. <laughs> Now, where is your background check policy? This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. Oh, That's nice. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr. My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. Oh, cool. <laughs> Book ending with the suit's pretty nice. I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. I'm Big going bound. to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the compost pile. Oh no! Nice shot, Manny. Oh wow. Friends now? Uh, I like getting the Grim Reaper costume back at the end. That's pretty great. Especially since the rest of the game has not been about that so far. I also like getting to make a sail. I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the legs pointed too far down, and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Hmm. I bet with the legs. Cracked, but still stronger than me. Items do I still have? Scythe, liquid nitrogen, bone grinder, gun, ammo. Can't sprout that. My gun doesn't need reloading yet. Any of these things? Too steep to climb. Too steep to climb. It's cracked, 
but still stronger than me. Being cracked relevance? I don't want to mess up my blade. Hmm. There can't be too much in here. I'd better. There can't. I'd better. There can't be too much in here. There can't be too much in here. Brute forcing. No idea at this point. Oh, can I pour that in there and then sprout it? I see. That's clever. That's pretty brilliant. Very cool. Oh, that sounds good, Jahan. Well, it was gonna happen eventually. Any particular commands you're looking to see, Bullseye? If you go to um, the commands.martset.com, there's a list of a bunch of them, quotes and SP and that sort of thing. And an explanation on the important ones at uh, faq.martstead.com. <laughs> Thanks, Jan. That one must be yours. They planted earlier that it flies to your hand. So they're like, how are we going to know which one's which? February 2016. Dark Souls 2? I run. Find Salvador. Get in, quick. We were supposed to have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Oh shit! The hippie Hola, beatnik poet? <laughs> of course he can still talk. Time for you to swing, Daddy O. Let's oh, no. walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hector, Holy crap. When you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, <gasps> you make a lot of enemies. Nani? What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. Mm hmm. Let me uh, save again. Make it on a new slot just in case. Not thirsty. This kind of looks like a long hallway here, right? To the extent you can have one in an adventure game. She loves me. Nice. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, <laughs> man, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole <laughs> double end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all their fast acting Sproutella. For an hour, so it gives me time to solve it as an adventure game. <laughs> it's a long time, I'm sorry to say. It's cool. Oh man. Manny! Will you 
you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Revenant. There's a cool camera angle here. Can I still get into my inventory? I can't move. Bone grinder. Oh, it's gotta be a liquid nitrogen, right? Freeze the flower. Nice. <laughs> What's the name of the... Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must Tattoo be... Tattoo guy, right? <sighs> Grinder and... Liquid nitrogen. Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right, and tell Leva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. But when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud <laughs> will spread not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! Nice. What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Mm. Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share Explosive with the class? Explosive tooth. Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> ah! Nice. Nice. And that was the real stuff. Good job, Salvador. Right where he is. Hey! My sight. Nice. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. Poor Sal. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. He's not doing anything now. He was a good guy the whole time. My scythe. I don't want to mess up my blade. It's in the trunk by his body, right? Oh, that's why I need the ticket, because it is drawn to the person. Nice. I get it. That's part of why this area is so huge. It's cool. They did a good, they did pretty classic plant remind payoff on that, right? That's how they find out it's a counterfeit, and then it matters when it flies over to uh, Meche. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. I don't really want to do that. I'm not doing anything now. Hmm. I have that can dig up stuff. Guess I can try using the scythe. My scythe. My scythe. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want. I'm not going in there until I'm packing some chlorophyll. <laughs> Oh, probably not. Those LucasArts games, it's impossible to lose. That would be clever, though. 
Like a modern indie game would totally do something like that, right? Gotta be somewhere on this hill, right? It seems to be a seems to not do seems to be not do there we go, I think. Nice. a lot of dead people though well dead dead people sprouted dead people this must be the key to salvador's trunk To loop all the way around, don't I? Ah, yes, lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Seeing dead people's spoiler. <laughs> All right, this is kind of feeling like a final confrontation. I guess we'll see. I may have uh, saved myself some time by being willing to ask for help earlier, especially on like the Rubicava level. Please, Hector. Yeah. You heard me. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. I think that this last, these last two chapters I'm have been pretty straightforward. And that there have been a few options. Ammo, that is. Yeah, I think so. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Olivia, who's out there? I'm the Grim Reaper, lard ass, and you're my <laughs> next customer. Shouldn't you be a patch of nice. poses by now? Come on, shorty. I think mean, it was a, a villain that ended up saying the poem that's the title Isn't of the game. Your best. Not here. Not here. Hmm. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not, not, not. Ho -ho! Since this game's pretty surprising, there could still be another chapter after this one. People who live in glass houses get pretty good at ducking, I see. Is that <laughs> your best? <laughs> Not here. Can I just do this indefinitely? Is there some other solution to this here? 
Gladys was the mastermind all along. You can't escape the Grim Reaper. It is adding extra cracks in the window. Uh, you're on a downhill disadvantage, Manny. I've got ammo in here for five years. I think the game is telling me to stop. Okay. You fight like a cow. All right. Well, there's this building down here that I haven't explored. Yeah, you heard me. Oh, I think I see. How oh, appropriate. The sprinkler system, basically. That doesn't sound good. It's over, Manny. I have the high ground. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Wrecked. Final boss. Final boss, I feel like, is making a sale. Unless if there's another chapter here, I guess we'll see. Alright, well, they've said you can't get in without a ticket, no matter what. Alright. I don't have one yet. You can we still have to resolve his background. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. Ah. And, uh, demons nice. ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. Aww. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. <laughs> so, I love Gladys. He's great. Come here, give me a hug. Aww. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. Oh, this is the ending with effects. There's another chapter after this? Okay. Bye. It must have been just me asking for help in the first couple chapters. I guess maybe you'd be stuck even longer in places like the Petrified Forest. I bumped the Howling to beat to 13 from 12 today, just in case we went over it. Manny? Oh, no worries. When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? It seems pretty ending-y. You know, sweetheart... I just wasn't sure what the Howling to beat. Is this. Nobody knows what's yeah, I saw it pizza off. You might as well enjoy the trip. Ah. Yay! Mariachi band. That's really cool. It's a cool visual. Just driving in that tunnel with nothing coming out. For our friend, your four achievement unlocked. Gets cut off before you can hear it. Is that a remaster problem? Oh, the band is the same on Manny's desk. This game was great. This is one of the better uh, adventure games I've played. Um, you can kind of see it. This this is fairly late among the classic like Lucas Arts games, right? Like when did uh, when did Full Throttle come out in comparison? Is the same before I could hear it. Let's see. I really like the atmosphere, the setting's really good. It feels like... So So which... Had there, were there additional adventure games that came out after Grim Fandango? I guess is the question. From LucasArts. Escape from Monkey Island, which I haven't played yet. Yeah, cause this kind of feels like the, the apotheosis of the formula. They're like... 
making it a lot easier for... Oh, I should switch this actually cut off on the sides, isn't it? Now that it's widescreen. Um, feels like they've applied all the lessons they've learned. There are only a couple goofy Longest Journey uh, clamp puzzles in this one. And most of them aren't really that bad. I guess the trickiest part of the whole game is the Petrified Forest. Uh, which is unfortunate because like, I feel like the game gets it gets easier to figure out as you go, but it's not like trivially easy. It's just like they reduce the number of options that you have and you kind of have a sense of how the puzzles are supposed to work. Well, I meant it in the sense of like, this is where the adventure game ascends into heaven. <laughs> right, it's like the final form. Uh, it feels pretty close to a, the way you'd make a modern game like this today. You know, I guess we played a couple... I feel like adventure games have become walking simulators now, and this is getting sort of close to that. Yeah, I can see what you mean about the end being rushed. I feel like that's true in a lot of these games. Like, Monkey Island's not LucasArts, right? No, no, it is. That's right. But the Monkey Island games, the final act always feels like, okay, we gotta wrap this shit up. You know, it feels like it's the most expansive at the beginning, and it shrinks, 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 shrinks until the end. That seems kind of common for the genre. Uh, but the setting is really cool. The whole idea of doing the time skips is really cool. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, the soundtrack was great. The characters are great. The voice acting was great. Some of the twists and turns are really neat. There's a few modern ones that are more or less return to basics. Not quite a renaissance, but people are making an effort. So many death puns to make about this game. Yeah. So I'm just giving a genuine ticket if they'd be able to leave, or they'd still be caught. I see. Right, because everyone that was getting sent to hell was using a counterfeit ticket. What about, was it Thimbleweed Park? It was very good, and it also was not at all what I thought it was going to be based on my cultural osmosis of the title. My, my, the osmosis is basically there's a guy in a Grim Reaper suit on the cover. So I didn't think they were going to do this like Dia de los Muertos um, theme or setting. I didn't realize the protagonist was Manny Calavera. I thought his name was Grim Fandango. Uh, I didn't know it was going to have almost nothing to do with being the Grim Reaper. And like the whole idea of him being a salesman, okay, the whole game is maybe trying to find a client. Like, nope, I'm gonna go become a casino manager and then a boat captain. It's pretty awesome. Just like that space person, Metroid. Yeah. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Like, my perception of what Monkey Island was gonna be was pretty close to what it actually ended up being when I played it on stream. Like, it did some goofy stuff too and had a lot of surprises. But as far as being, like, not what I was expecting, I think, of, of the adventure games we've played on stream so far, this, uh, this really pulled that off. Spike Jones on visual novels, so, like, um, that's, uh, Danganronpa and the like. Sure, a company named Dedelic that's put out some quality adventures. So when you say Thimbleweed lean too far retro, do you mean that it has obtuse puzzles? Like, I feel like... I'm trying to think, like, what is... If you're trying to follow a formula, if you're trying to follow the... the trajectory of modern game design, uh, something that's really important is you don't want the player to be stuck. Like, really frustratingly stuck. But it's also really hard because part of the magic of these games is when you when you naturally figure out, like, if you have 30 puzzles in the game and 20 of them are easy, five of them are insanely hard, and five of them are, like, moderate difficulty, like, it feels really good if you figure out one of the insanely difficult, the five insanely difficult puzzles, if that makes sense. Even though it feels really sucky to be stuck on the other four. So I think what you do is you try to have some kind of hint system in the game or something that, like, ushers the player along if they get stuck for too long, some kind of, like, time save. Because you want to give them that opportunity to figure it out before they resort to the hint system. 
Deponia's good appearance with bad puzzles. I see. Oh, there's weird inside jokes in Thimbleweed? Huh. Oh yeah, we played like an hour of Broken Age for your sub block, sir. I dug that. Was that that was Tim Schafer, wasn't it? It was kickstarted. There's some two obtuse ones. English sub isn't fantastic, I see. Yeah, it's uh it's hard. I feel like you can have puzzle games like Baba is You and uh, Talus Principle and Portal, but the kind of uh, sweet spot, well-designed puzzle that you're going for in an adventure game is different. It's not, it doesn't translate directly to a more traditional puzzle game. It's about finding the right key to put in the right lock. And sometimes it can be a logic puzzle, sometimes it can be a awareness of uh, inside jokes or modern trends. Like I think I feel like there were a couple puzzles in Monkey Island and especially in uh, Maniac Mansion that required you to have some like pop culture knowledge in order to get, which is a cool idea. You, you get to manage that crossword puzzle style developer player interaction where you go, I know that you know that I know this. the option to turn off inside jokes. Huh. Oh yeah, I suppose that's true. If they made it specifically for fans of those games. What's what's the name of the Monkey Island creator? The guy that did Thimbleweed Park? I need to write that into my brain. I know Tim Schafer. Ron Gilbert. So Ron Gilbert, he made the first two Monkey Islands. And the second one is the one that ends with the spoilers for Monkey Island 2 or maybe 3, I don't remember which game it is, but one of them ends with this implication that none of the stories actually happened, that it was like these kids' imagination or something, and then someone else took over and like retconned that, right? That was really great. I enjoyed that game very much. Um, so I think I may have landed on, like, I've always been trying to categorize adventure games and try to figure out, like, where do they, what space do they take up? Because I, I, it's like the people that I know that are into adventure games are super into the entire genre, right? Um, I'm wondering if, like, fans of adventure games are the sort of people that are fans of crossword puzzles, too, because I feel like that's kind of... It's a similar niche, right? Like a crossword puzzle is not just testing your mastery of language and your mastery of um, uh, logic in many cases, but it's also testing your just general like pop culture awareness. But a lot of the puzzles in this in this game and all of the adventure games we played so far are really dependent on real world awareness. You know, like adventure games, you're picky about them. You have a bad vocabulary, I see. Yeah, I mean, that's the interesting thing about crossword puzzles is that it sort of feels like... Um, oh, wow, shoot, I didn't realize my screen was cut off. My bad. It's fine, it was just the credits. I feel like once you get deep into crossword puzzles, like the vocabulary ends up being less relevant than the pop culture knowledge and like understanding where the puzzle designer is coming from, right? Because that's... I feel like that is the heart of this genre. It's seeing the puzzle and having the I see what you did there moment. Um, like, I see what you specifically, Tim Schafer, did there, not what any puzzle designer in a game like Portal did there. There's one puzzle in the Whispered World, remember, where you had to make a coin to a grindstone to make an arrowhead. That's pretty obtuse. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks, folks. This was a lot of fun. I was planning to go a little bit over today. I guess we came in a bit short of the how long to beat. Um, I think it's just because I asked for help quite a bit in that second chapter. So I'm excited to play more of these games. Um, I'm trying to think what are the, like, the, the tentpole adventure games that we haven't played yet. I'm going to look them up real quick since we've got some extra time here. Uh... We haven't played Full Throttle. In fact, that's the only one that I played as a kid. I had Full Throttle on a floppy disk, I think. I think it came on a floppy disk. I don't think I beat it. I just remember that Mark Hamill was in it. 
And I think I confuse a lot of its plot with Biker Mice from Mars. <laughs> I haven't played Day of the Tentacle, no. I haven't even heard of Simon the Sorcerer. I've heard of Day of the Tentacle. Like, I can conjure what the boxer looks like. I haven't played Myst, although I don't think Myst really counts. I just Googled best adventure games. We did Longest Journey. We're working on Dreamfall now. I've never played any of the Sam and Max games. I've never played any of the Indiana Jones games. We did Beneath a Steel Sky, which I think is getting a sequel pretty soon, right? Oh, nice, this name. Yeah, I've actually heard that one's pretty good. Like, I haven't played it, but I heard that it's it's sort of the proper Indiana Jones 4. Simon the Sorcerer is influential. I've, I have played Heavy Rain, but that was before I started streaming. I guess I don't know if that really counts, though. That That's the only of those developers games i've never done indigo prophecy or um what's the newest one detroit but i feel like those are becoming less adventure games and they're more starting to complete the transition to walking simulators well i haven't done a half no mouth and i'm a scream yeah uh google beneath the skill sky 2 that one was really interesting because like the the setting was really awesome like it was really cool played straight sci-fi post-apocalyptic but then the game was in extraordinarily goofy so it was kind of hard to keep track of when it was being serious and when it was being silly oh there's a hitchhiker's game that's an adventure game i haven't checked that one out they got harlan ellison really Ooh, odd world uh i actually did what system was that for originally I remember renting that game. I don't remember anything from it. It, it. I would mark it as blind, but I probably had it for like a rental cycle. Yeah, Space Quest, King's Quest. Those are the ones that you can uh, you can like permanently die on, right? And you can soft lock yourself. I haven't played them, but they they seem like they would fit the bill of being important. So I should probably play them for those reasons. We're playing Last Express. We beat Loom on stream. Never played Seventh Guest, but I own I own the disc. My computer as a kid just didn't work with it. Focus Entertainment's entire line of kids scum games. I played this weird game. I don't know what it was called. Something Dragons. I feel like it was either written by somebody in the Monty Python cast or featured them in the game. Um, I had it for, like, PS1 or something. I haven't played Sanitarium, no. King's Quest would be sublock. King's Quest was on the voting system forever ago, way back in the day. Somebody else had added it. No, I haven't done Discworld. Yeah, I think, I think the only one that I've played off stream that I would be spoiled for is probably, uh, Heavy Rain. From everything that we've talked about so far, everything else would be 100% blind. Death scenes, yes. Like deadlocks, softlocks are a bad experience. I agree, especially when you don't know that it's happened, right? Like that's part of the problem with some of those quest games where you can be softlock and not realize it, right? So I think I think those sorts of games I might be able to play them and they might be more enjoyable because I'm streaming them. It's sort of like how Baba is you is is more fun for me because I can ask my you know is this unsolvable question. Um, it would be nice to be able to ask chat like am I soft locked <laughs> or have chat warn me if I'm about to soft lock that sort of a thing. Oh, no, it's okay. I think, if I remember correctly, Johan, you wanted it to be a different version of it, right? Or uh, an earlier version, or like playing the reboot or something. So I'm going to put on the sheet. Anyway. Well, that was Grim Fandango. Thanks, folks. Uh, I, I do like the genre. I would enjoy and look forward to playing more games in them, because um, I didn't really experience it much as a kid. But I appreciate them a lot now as an adult. So if you want to add more of these to the voting system and a sub block, I would have fun playing them. We're going to pop off and feed the kitties. Let you guys know what's coming up. <laughs>